Hey there, I'm Ashley, and welcome to our Brieflight.com Camera Basics series, Venturing Out of Auto Mode. Getting out of auto may be a distraction, and I'm certainly not going to say that you should just jump straight to manual. I wouldn't even say that getting to manual should be a goal. There's a whole spectrum of control that you can take to achieve what you want while still relying on the camera as much as possible. The primary settings that we'll be talking about first are shutter speed, which controls visible motion, aperture, which controls how much is in focus, the depth of field from near to far, and ISO, which controls sensitivity and the kind of uh, grainy noise that you see sometimes. These three settings are all interrelated also in that they each affect how much light is getting into the camera or how sensitive the camera is to that light. Often when you change one of the settings, you have to also change one of the other settings to maintain a good exposure. In addition to this so-called exposure triangle, a fourth control that we'll talk about is light directly. And you can bring your own light to a scene with speed lights or strobes or some artificial light or by choosing a location and time of day, then you free yourself up from having to make compromises with the other three settings. Sometimes you may even want to remove light with filters to allow for a longer exposure. We'll try to keep these short and to the point. In each video, we'll learn about and play with just one setting at a time, and we'll see what we can do with it. It'll be fun. Let's get started in the next video.